Hey folks, hope you are having a great day. I know it's a hot one out there. It's kind of yucky and sticky, uh, but I hope you're having a great day anyways. We are continuing our look through the words of Paul and we're in Romans 8. And Romans 8 is just so full of great words and thoughts from Paul. And I just want to talk about two verses today. And we're really going to be in Romans 8 all week. So uh, with uh, an exception, a, uh, a detour tomorrow. But today, I want to look at Romans 8, verses 24 and 25. Now, Paul's been talking in, in the section right before these verses. He's been talking about how we long. We're, we're actually, he uses the word groaning. We're groaning to be set free from the bondage that we're in in this world. And it's a combination of the sinfulness and, and the law that we can't follow. And so we need to be set free so that we can follow Christ. And, and he goes in, in verse 24 and 25. This is what he says. Paul says, for in this hope, we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. You, you talk about having hope and, you know, and, and I'm not just talking about everyday simple hope. Gee, I hope it's a nice day out. I hope it's not too humid. I hope it's not too cold or too rainy. Or gee, I hope my favorite team wins. Or I hope, you know, whatever could happen. We're talking about real life issues, real life hope. It's the hope of, of healing from a sickness. It's a hope in a marriage that's struggling, that finds hope through the healing process of Jesus Christ. And so when Paul talks about, you know, for in this hope we were saved, we were saved to have this hope. Because as he says in Romans 5, when we suffer, we endure. And when we endure, we gain character. And when we, when we gain character, we gain hope. And hope does not disappoint us. Why? Because Paul says, God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us. And so now we jump over here to chapter 8 in verses 24 and 25. When we could see the end result, it's, eh, I don't need to hope because I know what's happening. But when we don't know it, when we can't see it, now we rely on hope. We rely on faith. We rely on trust in that the one who has promised us these great things, heaven, healing, by, our, by his wounds we will be healed. Not always in this lifetime, but in the life to come. We will be healed. We will have this great hope that we will have eternal life, that we will be set free from the bondage of this world. Even though it's a great life, there's a greater life that's coming. And Paul is talking about this greater glory that is yet to come. So we have hope. We have hope that we will see loved ones who have died before us. And we will celebrate. And we will worship. And we will have this amazing, amazing passion in our worship for Christ that we've never known before. And it's in a place called heaven. And so we have this hope. And we are patient. Not always easy. Not for me. It's not easy to be patient. But he calls us to be patient. Because that hope one day will be realized through Christ Jesus our Lord. Have a great day. God bless you.